Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the Super Bolero 2011. Super slogan is more than you think. Why? Because Super, at first glance, you might not realize how many features are really packed into the stroller. Um, but it really is more than you think. So I kind of find it funny that they have that slogan. Let's take a look at the Bolero. Now, Supers, they are known for their big wide seats. The seat is wide, it is 14 inches wide, it has an 18 inch seat back. And it has a very tall measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy of 27 inches. Here's our 21 month old. He is comfortable in the seat, has lots of room to grow. Here's our four year old. His head doesn't even touch the canopy, which is nice. The seat has an adjustable footrest. It has three different positions. It can go all the way up here and you can zip it closed to keep, put it into a bassinet environment, which we'll show you in a bit. You can have it straight or you can actually have it down for your older kids. And there's also a foot plate down here um, that your child can set their feet as well. Now it comes with a baby bumper bar. This baby bumper bar is removable and it's a swing away one. And what's nice is it doesn't only come with a baby bumper bar, but it comes with a snack tray, and the snack tray is great because the snack tray has a deep cup holder, and it has a, a hole for the snacks, for Cheerios, and additional space. So this is a very large um, snack tray. So you have your choice of baby bumper bar or snack tray. The seat sports a non-padded adjustable five-point harness, and the harness is kind of hard to do. Our four-year-old can do it, but it does take him a little bit of effort. Um, it is also adjustable for your growing child up there. Now, the seat recline, I really, really like it. Why? Because it's one-handed lever. All I have to do is pull that lever up, and it goes back to four different positions, including flat. And when I mean flat, it is flat. Um, so, and that's going to help make the bassinet environment, which is great. And if I lift up the back of the canopy, it does have snaps. There is a complete mesh window that is going to allow air to circulate through the stroller. And I can zip off this whole piece of the canopy to um, completely remove it. And yet I would still have all of this mesh still here um, to keep the air um, flowing through, put your child in. And I could even remove that as well. And as you can see, there is an infant safety piece right here. This stays attached to the stroller seat. And this is going to prevent your child from ever sliding out the top of the stroller. And as your child grows, of course this might get in the way. Zuper thought of that. All you have to do, there's a piece of Velcro here. You're going to Velcro that down and out of the way so that when the seat is all the way up, it's not going to get in your taller child's way. Let's talk canopies. The canopy on the Super Bolero, it's gigantic, it's huge, it is full coverage, um, and it does double duty. It is waterproof, first of all, so it kind of acts as a rain cover. It folds all the way down in front of your child, so that's going to really block the um, elements from your child. And like I said, it's enclosed in the seat, so um, it is like a rain cover. Now at the top, there is a very large peekaboo window. It's shaded, so it's not going to be too bright in at your child. But I can still completely see him in the seat. And I love that it has a cover. And as you can see, no Velcro, no noisiness at all. So all I do is flip it forward or flip it back, depending on if I want to see through the um, peak of the window. And it also comes with a UV sunshade. And what's great about this is it obviously zips into its own pouch. But as, as I unzip it, the pouch is actually part of it, which is fabulous. And it's going to completely cover the whole front of your stroller. You snap it on and that's gonna be a sunshade up front. Now another feature of the canopy, in case this one isn't quite large enough, all you have to do is unzip to reveal a whole other panel to make it even larger. And like I said, this is full coverage. Now the handlebar, it's not adjustable. It is a one-piece handlebar, which is great for one-handed maneuverability. It is taller though. It's 41 inches from the handlebar to the ground. So taller parents are going to like this handlebar. Now let's talk about storage. As you can see, there is no parent tray, but there is a handy parent cup holder over here that I like, and it's removable. There is a large pocket on the back of the canopy to store a lot of parent or baby essentials. And there's actually two pockets, one on top of the other one, which is great. Now there is a rather large basket underneath. The only problem is, very hard to access from the back. I can get in for smaller items, but if the seat is fully reclined, it's nearly impossible to get into. But good thing, 
you can access it from the front. As long as you don't have a child that has all kinds of legs here in front of it, um, this is where it has the best access. And there's even a zipper um, on the sides. There's two zippers that allow you to open up the basket even more. And this is what I have to do in order to get my big diaper bag in there. Obviously, it's going to take about a bit of squishing, but once it's in there, it does fit. And then you just zip the sides back up. Now, a unique feature of the Bolero is that the seat turns into a bassinet with the bassinet accessory. That comes with it. So this is really great for our newborns. Now, what you have to do is you have to recline the seat all the way flat. Make sure it's flat. You're going to put the um, footrest all the way up, and there are zippers here that you need to actually attach it. Now once you have the bassinet accessory in the seat, it does come with a sleeping bag as well. Now I've taken off the bottom part of the sleeping bag. As you can see, the sleeping bag comes with a five-point harness and an infant headrest, which is great. And this again comes with the stroller. So again, it's more than you think. Um, this is going to be used, this can be used on your stroller seat as a complete foot muff or sleeping bag, but it also is used with the bassinet feature. You set it in, it's a little bit longer than the bassinet, so you just fold that under right there. And you have to remember to attach the five-point harness to the um, bassinet. There are rings that you need to pull through in the seat and attach them with these clips. And that's going to make it even more secure. And there you go. That is your infant bassinet. You can remove the infant headrest if you do not want it. And you can use the top of the sleeping bag as um, for the top of the bassinet as well. You just have to snap it down. Now, of course, you want a canopy with the bassinet, so you just use your, your regular stroller canopy. It does reverse. You have to reverse it opposite of what you would use for the um, stroller seat. And there you go. That whole seat turns into a bassinet, which is great. Now, the Bolero, it has hard rubber wheels. The front ones are six inches. They're double sets of wheels, and they are swivel wheels for maneuverability, but they also have the ability to lock straight. You flip that down, it's going to lock into place. You need to do um, that individually for each wheel, um, but that's for a bit rougher terrain. Now, the rear wheels, they are seven inches. They're a little bit larger, um, and they're double sets of wheels as well. And they have a one-touch linked brake um, step as well, which is nice and easy to do. All you do is step down with your foot, and then lift it back up to unlock. Maneuverability on the Bolero, it's very, very good. Um, the one um, piece of handlebar makes a one-handed maneuverability very easy to do. Now, with a medium-sized child aboard, I can zip this around on smooth surfaces with one hand, no problem. Now, if I'm getting near the weight capacity, I do need to use two hands. Or if I'm going on all-terrain. If I'm on all-terrain, I do need two hands. Um, it's just that kind of stroller, and I would definitely recommend locking those front wheels. But it does have all-wheel suspension, so it's going to absorb a lot of the bumps to give your baby a smooth ride no matter what terrain you're on. But it is um, a full-size stroller. It's not an all-terrain stroller, so uh, while it does t um, handle rocks and grass and play our mulch well, it's just not an all-terrain stroller. Folding the stroller, very easy to do. It's two steps, but not a problem at all. All you got to do is put back your canopy, push the button on the handlebar, that's going to make your handlebar collapse. Just note that you can fold it with the bumper bar attached, but not the snack tray, just because it folds to a very compact size, and the snack tray, it doesn't bend. Um, next step, you just have to pull this out and pull it up and that's going to make the stroller collapse. As you can see it has a standing fold, automatic lock, and if you have those front wheels locked like I do, I can pull it behind me like luggage through the airport. So Zuber must have been looking at my wish list because I love that automatic lock and I love the standing fold. I really love how compact the stroller is for such a full-size, full-featured stroller. And it even has a carry strap down here to make um, transporting the stroller even easier. Now, unlocking the stroller very easy. All you have to do is unlock that automatic lock on the side, go up on your handlebars, step on that rear step until it locks open. But do make sure that, that front piece is locked down on each side. Pull up your handlebars and you're ready to go. Now, if you're looking for a travel system, the Bolero does that as well. It has a universal car seat strap. Now, um, this is going to strap into your car seat, into the seat, and then you're going to buckle this around your car seat, um, your infant car seat, to keep it secure. So, um, to find out which seats are compatible, even though it's universal, just check out Zuber's website.
The Bolero weighs in at 23 and a half pounds. It is a full-size, full-featured stroller. Um, so the weight, it's strong enough and heavy enough to be a great stable stroller, but light enough that it's not going to break my back getting in and out of my trunk. Um, and I also like the, the little details that Zuper, Zuper's um, logo is a cute little smiley face, and they have that on the wheels and throughout the stroller. And you know what, smiling faces, they make me happy. So I think that's kind of a cute feature. Now, I really like the Bolero. I like the versatility of the fact that I can turn the seat into a bassinet for a newborn. I I like the features such as the infant um, safety guard and that it comes with a bumper bar and a snack tray. That's unheard of in a luxury stroller. Um, I like the very flat recline and I like the tall handlebar. And this is the review of the Super Bolero by Holly Schultz of BabyGizmo.com. That is the Super. See you next time. For even more news, product reviews, videos and giveaways, and to find the best prices, go to BabyGizmo.com or visit our blog at RatedByMom.com.